Dear Martha, do you know when I was just a boy how I yearned to be an artist? I liked Westerman's work, and I liked him even better. He was a gentleman from a bygone era. Honesty and craftsmanship still mattered. I've never seen anybody make sculpture like that. I've never seen anybody that was that personal. I've seen death ships, and I can't get them out of my lousy system. December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. Westerman was coming to terms with the trauma of war, the guilt, he was pulling the trigger. He could never explain why he came home when good friends didn't. His plane exploded in the elevator and the horrible smell of death of 2,300 men. Whatever the monkeys on his back were, that stuff appears. That probably was his survival. He was rather a mysterious character and a hilarious one at the same time. He was just a lot of fun. He was an acrobat and a pretty good one too. He came up to me on his hands and he introduced himself. So I instantly fell in love with him. When he took it from boxes to a larger scale and make a building, that was powerful for me. A man doesn't build something that's going to last for a thousand years if he doesn't have hope or optimism. I was so thrilled when I saw the big change. I've never been happier in my life. I think he could really see there was a lot of beauty and love in this world. Here was an artist that had a sense of ethics and courage to do what he wanted to do, regardless of what the popular trends were, who had really expressed something deeply personal in ways that were amazing. I have a lot of hope for the future. For art in general, I mean, for artists. Love always, Cliff.